Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pipe between two fixed points using uh, Creo 2.0. So in this uh, screen, you can see that there are two uh, fixed points. Uh, one is here highlighted and the second one is here. And uh, I want to create a pipe which is joining both of uh, them. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, you have to go to uh, the create part and select path solid and the part name, whatever you can give here. Say okay. Select copy from existing. Say okay. Now here go to default and say okay. Now you have to go to the pipe and say activate. After activating the pipe, uh, just go to the axis, take the axis with this pipe, reference pipe, uh, with this pipe also. Sorry, I am not able to select the pipe. Why? Okay, done. Now say okay. what I can see model tree what I can see the model tree I don't know let me just see okay so I have activated the features from here settings go to setting tree filters and select features okay and say okay now here you can see that in part uh, that pipe uh, part you can see these axes are there okay i will activate axis from here now you can see that This one is uh, this pipe's axis, and this one is this pipe's axis. Okay, sorry, it's not highlighting, so it's not. Okay, so these two axes are reference axis. We will take reference of it while creating the pipe and afterwards we will delete them okay so we should not have any kind of uh, reference uh, with our pipe and now I'll take points on the axis and that reference here green select on the face of the pipe okay so drag it till 25.25.4 that is one inch say okay now take one more point on the axis select till on the surface and again 25.4 here say offset as 25.4 say okay same thing do here on the lower pipe here select point select axis select the face with this reference drag it on the face select the value would be 25.4 say okay again select point select axis select that reference on the surface drag it to the 25.4 say okay now we are ready uh, for taking the reference of these points so that we can create our original pipes okay so before starting uh, you have to Measure the distance between uh, the main coordinate of the pipe and these points so that you can directly put your uh, pipes uh, points distance directly so that you can get the original uh, distance of the pipe. Now go to analysis, select major, select the points one, two, three, four and select coordinate okay 
after that go to projection here select that and select pro coordinate of that pipe again you selected it okay so you have got the points coordinate here so what you have to do is you have to just note it down somewhere like this point is first point so i will select it open the notepad paste in that okay so the first one is x-axis this is y value the third one is z value so just make it in a row so that it will be easy to put directly these values into the uh, points which we are going to create the pipe so again i'll select this one i'll copy it again paste in the second row and uh, putting in in a sequence so that it will be easier uh, for me to put those values directly into the pipe command so that i will directly get the pipe's correct position and this is fourth point i'll copy it go to the note and paste it again now max space max space okay i got the fourth values okay and i know the four points uh, through which i have to create the pipe so uh, keep in mind that in the first stroke it is sometimes it is difficult to create pipe in a first stroke so sometimes there is need of editing those points once you create the that uh, points uh, it is very easy to edit it okay let's see it now go to the point select offset coordinate system select it now go to reference here select the reference of your coordinate you selected it now take values one two three four we needed four points so we have taken four points now go to update values now go to your ta uh, note notepad Sorry, this is not the notepad we need. This is the notepad. Select these values, copy it, go to this tab, which was popped up when you selected that pipe command. And say paste and save it. Space. Save it. And that those values can put them. And those values automatically will be filled here you don't need to put one by one here so say okay so you already got four four points and you can just suppress uh, the reference points and the thing is you have to create one 3d axis here 3d curve so go to datum go to curve go to curve through points so like that select by sequence select one point press the control select second point press control third point press control fourth point now this curves you can see this that it is very curvy and the pipe is not actually curvy you can see here the pipe uh, the this length should be straight because the pipes are straight till uh, some distance and then starts the bending so go to the placement select point first then point two and select straight line here see the, this point this distance becomes straight now now go to the point three here go say straight now it becomes straight now we want this to be straight so go to point four and say straight line okay now i know the bend line should be uh, the the standard of the pipe is that uh, the bend radius of your pipe should be equal to the diameter of the pipe okay so uh, to uh, to know that uh, we will we need to calculate the outer diameter of the pipe so we'll say for now we'll say okay okay the pipe is going to overlap on this pipe you can see 
so i will what i will do i will just check the diameter of this pipe this is 50 so suppose uh, uh the di inner diameter of my pipe would be 50 obviously plus the thickness so the, the thickness would be 5 inch uh, suppose so it would become uh, 60 right outer diameter would become 60 so i can take the radius as uh, 60 so go to curve again right click edit definition and now go to placement 0.2 add a fillet here select and yeah say 60 okay now go to 0.3 add a fillet get 60 okay so though those two bend radius are added here say okay now now you have to go to sweep sweep command Go to sweep command, go to sketch, and now select. You can also take the reference of the model here, but uh, keep in mind that you have to delete it afterwards. Either it will create a problem. Now I know the outer uh, diameter of the pipe would be 60. Inner diameter of the pipe should be 50 or equal to the outer diameter of the reference pipe. So go to reference here and delete those references from here and select references from your planes of the pipe. Solve, close. Okay, now your pipe is now ready. See that? Is it cool? Your pipe is now fully ready. And in future, suppose uh, if you want to uh, increase this uh, this straight portion here, so you do, don't need to worry. Okay, you just need to go to dating points, uh, go to edit definition, and you need to increase this length. Uh, so you need to go to point five. Just check which direction it is. It is Z direction. Here I can see it is popping up z on the screen you can you can see here so i need to just drag it the value by which i want the straight length to be increased so i have just dragging outside okay now say okay now you can see that straight edge is uh, lengthened length of the straight edge uh, of straight part is increased okay same thing you can do here go to the mm, points edit definition now just look for the point number that is 6 so go to point 6 and just check in which direction we need to increase that length okay so i'm going i will just go nearby and the z direction is popping up so it means that we need to drag in a horizontal direction that is z direction i'm just dragging it by any value you can just select the value here or here any anywhere so say okay see the straight portion is length of the straight portion is increased so in similar way you can change the direction you can change the radius of the pipe and you can create uh, your pipe in between any of the two fixed points okay so i hope uh, this video uh, is uh, beneficial for you and if you like the video, please uh, don't forget to share it with your friends. And please don't for, uh, forget to subscribe our channel. And if you like to learn more about uh, uh, other features in Creo software or Unigraphic software, please uh, ask anything uh, in the comment section. Okay. Thank you very much for watching.